Welcome to this week's weekly reading. This is for the week of January 18th through Sunday, January 24th. So we're going to look at the overall energies of the week. We're going to look at a specific piece of guidance for us for this week and also a chakra card for those of you that might be doing some more advanced healing work um, or, you know, my healers and mediums out there. So let's first take a look at our tarot. I have pre-pulled these, but if you guys would like to start seeing me shuffle and stuff, just let me know. Um, okay, so for Monday, Tuesday, 18th and 19th, we're being offered the Ace of Wands. Now, the great thing with this is aces often represent new beginnings, and the wands have to do with things that we are passionate about, our spiritual calling, things of that nature. So really, Monday, Tuesday, 18th and 19th, be available for new inspiration, new um, guidance coming in about something that you're very passionate about or part of your spiritual journey. Um, and for some of you, that may be one and the same, like that you work your spiritual work as part of your actual career. Now, Wednesday, Thursday, the energy that we're looking at is the Empress. So taking this new guidance and inspiration that we get Monday, Tuesday, and really stepping into our power, that power of creation. Now, this card doesn't necessarily mean that it's female energy, even though it is a strong female energy card, but we all have male and female energy. So whether you present as masculine or feminine in the world, in your body, that doesn't matter. It's that energy of creation, believing in yourself and your ability to take what you are being inspired about to the first or next step, depending on your situation. Again, this is a general reading, so it'll be slightly different for everyone. Now, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, um, which is 22nd, 23rd, 24th, we are looking at Six of Pentacles. Now, Pentacles have to do with things that are of the earth, so money, career, home, those type of things. But the six is a forward motion, positive forward motion. And this card often indicates gifts of money or financial relief coming in, but it can also indicate you sharing what you have with others. See, this lovely gal is sharing what she has with these others. So it may be sharing with people you know, or it may be, you know, if you have a little extra or can do something, it may be really supporting some charities and social causes right now. So Overall for the week, we're looking at getting some new inspiration or like a second wave of inspiration for that thing that we're passionate about or towards our spiritual calling. Uh, and then really going within, looking at ourselves and what we may be doing to resist this inspiration. So going within ourselves and empowering ourselves to move forward. And then towards the end of the week, um, really s stepping forward into whatever that is and being available for gifts, you know, coming in and going out. Uh, now, the, the other cool thing is we are in a year that's going to bring about a lot of change and a lot of, um, you know, a, a lot of it being unsettled. But one of the other things that's going to be really important this year is collaboration. So even if you are not in a position to be in person with others, consider moving towards a sense of collaboration, sharing not only, you know, things that are of the physical world money, but sharing ideas. Um, so really connecting with people you may not have connected with, and you may be surprised some people may be stepping back into your space. Um, but that's a, a more secondary meaning. Now, for those of you that are doing healing work of any kind, uh, the energy this week that we want to be working with for our own healing is the root chakra. This also has to do with things that are of this world, but more survival. So the root chakra is the base. It's where we ground. So another indication is through this inspiration and this, you know, reinvigorating and stepping into your power, we want to be really grounded. So if you're someone that knows how to do grounding, that's one of the areas you want to focus on this week. If you don't, check out my YouTube because there's a free grounding meditation there you can play with. Um, but as far as the emotional side of things, we want to be checking in with fears around money, fears around um, financial security, home, those type of things. Uh, okay, and this can even be going back to, you know, your childhood time, because sometimes it will deal with issues of childhood and um, home security, for example. Okay, so this is our general guidance for the week, and let's see what this is. Renewal of peace. Okay, that's lovely. I think we all would love a little rest like that. So this week is going to be really about just stepping into that inspiration, whatever it is for you. Maybe it's getting excited about, you know, traveling in the future, or maybe you're 
being inspired to share your message in some way, and then letting yourself be empowered to, to start stepping into that space, moving towards collaboration and really engaging with others to share your ideas, your thoughts, your inspiration. Um, and, you know, this will ultimately bring about a renewal of peace in your life. So a little bit of going within as well. And I think that's in this Wednesday, Thursday of going within to empower yourself, renewal of peace, um, renewal in faith that things are ultimately going to work out for the best for all of us, that we can continue moving forward, uh, you know, individually and as a society. So just uh, the message for us this week is have faith about renewal of peace, personal peace and on a bigger scale. So thank you guys for joining me this week. And if you are enjoying these weekly readings, drop me a heart below and we will continue doing them. And let me know if this resonates with you. You can also check out my website, joyfulmedium.com. See you soon.